we've covered a huge amount today. Um, I wanted to make sure that this was as impactful as possible. You know, we've gone through everything from uh, the importance of mindset, the high performer traits, having a vision, committing to a goal. Uh, we've got deep into the tactics of LinkedIn. We thought about the sales steps of the process. And we've considered the art of negotiation, closing. Um, there's a lot here, you've made great connections. There's an action plan that you need to take. There's a pathway following. Okay, so having reflected on where you're at right now, um, I want you to just make a note of um, a couple of exercises that, and again, I am gonna email this over, but take a note, like things that I believe that you should do for homework and invest in yourself beyond today. So the first thing is a skill analysis. Number one, skill analysis. What are your strengths and weaknesses based on and compared to the person you need to become to hit your finance goal? Two, what are the goals that you need to achieve along the pathway to you hitting your milestone? your financial milestone. So what are all the goals and steps that you need to hit to help you work towards hitting that financial milestone? And what are the other goals that you are setting for yourself to enjoy life, enjoy experiences, get the best outcomes? Sorry, what's the last one? Uh, goal setting, setting the right goals. It's second. Second. Three. Are you an industry expert, a product expert or a service expert? Do you know your product inside out? What do you know? What don't you know? What do you need to learn? What do you need to figure out? Four, who do you need in your circle? Who do you need in your network to help you get where you wanna go? So who do you need to identify that's gonna help you with your goals? Who do you need to identify that can help you improve your skills? Who do you need to be spending time with that's gonna hold you accountable? Who do you need to be with that's gonna help you get to the next level? Who's gonna support you? Who are you gonna work for? Like, who are the people, who are your network that you need to work with? What am I on, five or six? Five. five. Okay, number five, um, set, work back from your milestone, you know, the financial goal, uh, the financial milestone, and understand what targets you need to be hitting or overachieving to move you towards that financial goal. So you need to re-engineer re it right from that financial goal backwards based on what you need to be doing on a weekly, quarterly, month, sorry, a weekly, monthly, quarterly, annually, annual basis from attainment perspective to hit that goal. Also, by hitting those goals, what are your asks going to be for your company in terms of promotion, pay rise? So if you've worked out that um, you overachieve six months and you go and sit down with your manager and say, look, if I overachieve in six, over six months, I, I'm going to ask you for a 10K pay rise. Like that's going to be one of those targets to hit you towards that long term goal. Um, and then number six is um, write in your diary a time that you're going to review today, but you're going to review this on a monthly basis by yourself that you commit to. So that you come back to today and you think about what you've learned, what your goals are, what your dreams. And in that time, you should use everything that you've learned today. You should spend time visualizing, thinking about those goals. You should reflect, you should analyze. Like, this is not work time, this is not social time, like this is your time in your diary on a Sunday or whatever day of the week, 
you commit to, that's recurring in your personal diary, that you're gonna reflect on this major milestone to get you there. And I honestly believe that if you commit to these things and you take away today's um, learnings, you will get extremely close, if not to that goal that you've set at the beginning of today. And then we will be able to come together and celebrate uh, collectively.